Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Han. We British know a thing or two about roasting. Roast beef, roast chicken, roast turkey, roast goose, roast goat. Well, maybe not goat. But certainly the number one roast as voted for by readers of What Roast magazine. Roast lamb. I've got a nice leg of lamb here. It's about a kilo in weight and the bone's still in. I've got two cloves of garlic, which I've cut fairly thickly, and a few sprigs of fresh rosemary. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke holes in the flesh and put the garlic and the rosemary in. So I've got myself a nice sharp knife. Poke. Take a sprig of rosemary and poke it in the hole. It helps if you push the cloves of garlic in along the grain of the meat. It's going much easier that way. Now that I've got all my rosemary and garlic pressed into the meat, I'll just brush it lightly with a little bit of olive oil. Finally, sprinkle on just a little bit of salt. Now I'll put the joint on a tray, on a trivet, in a baking tray because I want to keep the meat juices to make gravy. Now I'm going to pop this in the oven at 220 degrees C for 15 minutes per kilogram. So in my case, that's 15 minutes. After the initial cooking period, turn the oven temperature down to about 180 degrees and continue to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes per 500 grams. Now if you're going to have roast lamb, it is compulsory to have mint sauce with it. So I've got a big bunch of fresh mint, two teaspoons of sugar and a couple of dessert spoons of vinegar. Any vinegar will do. And I'll start by picking the mint leaves off the stalks. So there we are, a nice big bunch of mint leaves. Now, there will be people out there who will not be satisfied unless they know exactly how much mint I've got. So I'll tell you, it's exactly 28 grams. Happy now? Good, now all we need to do is chop it. You do want to chop it fairly finely to make a nice mint sauce. And there we are, I've got a pile of really nicely finely chopped mint. Now I'll take a heat proof jug, add in about 100 ml of boiling water together with the sugar and I'll stir to dissolve the sugar. Once the sugar's dissolved, add in the mint. Give it a good stir. Then add in the vinegar and mix well. Now test it. It should be both sweet and acidic. Hmm, quite nice. But I think I'm going to add a bit more vinegar in. Another tablespoon should do it. Mix that in. Mmm, perfect. After the allotted time, we need to check whether the meat is cooked. So we push in a skewer or any sharp pointy stick and see what colour kind of the juices come out. And they're coming out quite clear, which suggests it's probably cooked. Alternatively, you can stab it with a meat thermometer and see whether it goes round to the goat setting. Now you tell me, above the pig, is that or is that not a goat? Well, it's not quite at goat, so I think I'll stick it back in for another 10 minutes. Stab. Ah, oh, that's pretty close. I'll call it quits there. Now transfer to a plate and leave it to rest for 15 minutes before carving. Now I'm going to use the juices in the pan to make some gravy. So I'll start off by pouring in a little bit of boiling water. Take out the trivet. Give it a good stir round. Now there's not a lot of fat in this. There's a very small amount, small layer. But if you had a lot of fat, you would need to either pour that off or use any one of the most amazing devices that are available for separating meat juices and fat. Pour the liquid into a measuring jug. Crumble in a stock cube. Stir it around. Now add as much hot water to make the volume up to whatever volume of gravy you want. 
That'll do for me. Pour the gravy into a pan. Take a heaped teaspoon of corn flour. Whisk it in a tablespoon or two of water. Then add it into the gravy. And bring the whole lot to the boil with stirring. Just as it comes to the boil, turn off the heat and your gravy is ready. Delicious roast lamb with gravy and mint sauce. What could be better? We British practically invented roasting along with other notable inventions like the telephone, television, the Titanic and binge drinking. Gosh, I feel proud to be British sometimes. Join me next time in Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Nihan. Until next time, Huda Hafiz. Huda Hafiz.